A new weapon has come out in CSGO. Yeah, really. Luckily for the devs, this weapon seems to be received much better than the previous gun added nearly three years ago. This attractive YouTuber showed why the lost weapon perhaps wasn't that great, and this separate YouTuber will show you why the new weapon is, well, I'll honestly let you form your own opinion on it since I don't care one way or another. Most of the information in this video comes from Sloth Squadron, the person I'm also referencing a lot in my next video. Thank you, Mr. Sloth. If you want to look at the stats I reference, and more, the Reddit thread and the weapon spreadsheet are in the description. You know how there's the USP versus P2K choice where the main comparison is feel? This is similar, but probably not as much the case here. For most of the stats, the MP5 is just a clever clone of its MP7 sibling. Instead of talking about the similarities between the two, it's much easier to actually compare the differences in them. The largest difference between the two is, unsurprisingly, the silencer. The MP5 has one, whereas the MP7 does not. Shocker. Unlike with the USP and M4, no matter how hard I try, I can't take off the silencer. Aww. There are a few effects of this besides being super satisfying to shoot. One of which is the tracer frequency statistic. This says how many bullets you have to shoot before the tracer, or the little line of bullet leaves, appears. For the MP7 it's 3, which means every third bullet will have a tracer, whereas with the MP5 it has one of 0 like the A1, USPS, and snipers. This means that there will never be a tracer shot from this gun. On to the main statistics. One of the most felt differences will probably be damage. The MP5 has a base damage of 27, 2 less than 29. This doesn't always mean that it will do 27 damage. I made a video showing how to calculate how much damage will be dealt to someone. It's really just more of a base damage. This puts it on par with the PP Bison in terms of this statistic. This doesn't mean it will be as bad as the lovable loser, since some of its other stats are better, like accuracy, but it's interesting to note you're sacrificing deadliness in exchange for silence. The movement speed is just 15 units per second less than running with your knife out, meaning you can mow people down around corners. It seems Valve wants to make it one of the better SMGs to run a gun with. But interestingly, the MP5 has a worse movement accuracy of 40.6 compared to the MP7's 30.46. For this stat, this puts this better than the PP Bison, but worse than the MP9. Valve, you confuse me sometimes. Lastly, the MP5 has slightly faster reload than the MP7, but gets its clip a bit slower, meaning if you're one of those people that for no good reason switch weapons while reloading, you'll need to wait a bit longer to do the frivolous move. Everything else is pretty much the same, including the spray pattern, so if you like the MP7, this should be a satisfying and pretty easy transition. If you didn't like the MP7, you probably won't like the MP9. I guess, unless you want a gun that feels awesome. Eh, you'll probably get used to it. In pro play, which is all about maximizing damage for those slight advantages, the gun as it is right now probably won't see the light of day. It's not PP Bison level at least, so if you like the MP7, this could be a good alternative. If you're curious, the pullout animation has you slapping the gun to teach it who's boss, and the inspect of the weapon is fairly normal. At least the CT on the main menu has a cute new toy to hold. What a cute little guy. This also means I have to make some changes in my next video. Great.